Hello people, I'm Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So, today's video, we're going to learn serial communication in 8085. How to send serial data using 8085. Uh, if you know a little bit about 8085 before, you know 8085 has a serial port. The pins are called SID and SOD. SID is serial input data, SOD is serial output data. We are going to send data, so obviously we're going to be using the SOD pin. Now on this pin, you do serial communication. Serial communication means you're sending a byte at a time or a bit at a time, correct? One bit at a time. When you send the whole byte or when you send multiple bits at a time, that's called parallel communication. When you do communication bit by bit, that's called serial communication. Now why do we do serial communication? First of all, which is faster, serial or parallel? Of course, parallel because you're sending multiple bits at a time. Can 885 do parallel communication? Of course, it has a data bus, 8-bit data bus. You can directly send out 8-bit data in one cycle. So that is wonderful. So then why is serial communication used? Why are we doing this program? Is serial communication used in the world? <laughs> Maximum communication in the world, long distance communication, your internet communication or telephone communication and so on. All of that is serial communication because serial communication uses only one line. So obviously the cost is much lower. You want to send one bit at a time, you need only one line. To send eight bits at a time, you need eight lines. Now that will increase the cost eight times. If it's a short distance communication like data transfer between the processor and the RAM, processor and the ROM and various components of the motherboard, then parallel communication is fine because the distance is so small. The cost difference between one wire and eight wires won't be that much as compared to the speed difference that you're getting. But when you do long distance communication over meters, kilometers, between cities, across countries and so on, that cannot happen parallelly. That will increase the cost tremendously. So all long distance communication is serial communication. So if you say you know 8085, you need to know how to do serial communication using 8085. If you have learned the interrupts topic, this video will be there in my video series right after interrupts. In the interrupts topic, there are instructions SIM and RIM. We are going to be using the SIM instruction. Using SIM instruction, we decide whether we want to perform serial communication and if yes, then whether we want to send a 1 or whether we want to send a 0. So you'll get a question in the exam, write a program to transmit 25H serially. Now what is 25? 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Correct? 0, 0, 1, 0 is 2, 0, 1, 0, 1 is 5. My dear student, these are basics which you should know. So, these are your 8 bits. These are what you're going to send. First, you'll send a 1, then you'll send a 0. Why? Because you send LSB first. These are principles of communication. So, starting from the LSB, you send 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. That's your 25 sent out. But you won't write a stupid program like this which will specifically send this pattern 1 then 0 then 1 then 0 then 0 then 1 then 0 then 0 because that will send only 25. So if I want to transmit 36, do I need a different program? If I want to transmit 72, do I need a different program? Rubbish. All the numbers should be transmitted using the same program. That means your program has to be a flexible program. It cannot be a program that just transmits 25. The question may not even mention the number 25. The question may say, there is a pro number stored at location 4000. Transmit this number serially. Now you don't even know what the number is. Still, you need to understand its binary pattern and based on that, send zeros and ones. So that's the program that we're gonna do. At the basic level, this is the program. Now, depending upon which university you are in and how tough, how tough is the level of questions they ask. If you're preparing for entrance exams, the level is going to be much higher. They are going to give you a baud rate. What is a baud rate? Baud rate is the rate at which the data has been transmitted. So if they say baud rate of 1000 BPS, bits per second or 1000 Hertz, they may name it differently. That means you need to transmit at the speed of 1000 bits per second. Students say, sir, we are not even transmitting 1000 bits. We are transmitting only 8 bits. Yes, to transmit at the speed of 1000 bits per second, you don't really have to transmit 1000 bits in one second. That's the speed. To drive at 100 kmph, you don't have to drive 100 kilometers in one hour to be at that speed. You may just drive a small distance at that speed. So the speed of communication is what they will give you. Based on that, you will calculate what is the delay between bits. And with every bit that you transmit, you'll also call a delay routine. Not just call the routine, of course, write the delay routine with the calculation. Of course, we're going to do that in the video. And finally, 
to top it up they may say use uart standard uart stands for universal asynchronous receiver transmitter repeat this again universal asynchronous repeat receiver transmitter uart standard says along with your 8 bits of data there should be a padding to it a start bit and a stop bit there are beautiful reasons for it which i'll not get into because this video is not about what is uart communication i've covered that in 8051 in serial mode in serial port of 8051 where we have both synchronous and asynchronous modes i have explained that in detail to write this program you don't need to know what is uart standard this is just an extra word that they add in the question so you just need to know what is the implication of that in our program coming back as per uart standard the start bit always is zero always okay it's not a choice this is something you ought to know if there is any mention of communication in your syllabus if you're from exec field or nonetheless most of the fields do communication communication is the end thing today so anyway start bit is always zero as per uart standard stop bit is always one so if, apart from transmitting your eight bits of data you need to pad it up with a start bit and a stop bit. You begin with a start bit, then send your 8 bits of data, then finally end with a stop bit. All of these with the delay that they need to produce your required baud rate and plus the basic program of figuring out the bit pattern and sending the bits appropriately. That is what this program is all about. Of course, it's going to be a big program, but it comes also like that. It comes as a full question. If your university pattern has 10 mark questions, this will be a full 10 mark question because it's going to be a big program with the delay calculation. So that's what this video is going to be all about. This was the introduction. The entire video is there on my website www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link will be given down below in the description check section. The entire video series of 8085, not just 8085, I teach several processors, controllers, COA. I also teach other subjects. Soon I will be making video series of those as well. So all of these video series are there. All you need to do is select the course you want. There is a payment, of course, but the payment is very small. Something that anybody can afford, any honest student can afford. Those who want to cheat are not students, they are called cheaters. <laughs> so any honest student can afford. At the same time, it is viable for us to conduct this whole exercise. So once you make the payment, the course becomes active immediately. You can start watching all the videos. There are about 37, 38 videos of 8085. We keep making more and more videos. Immediately after this, I'll be shooting another video of 8085 itself. So with every video, you also get a PDF. The PDF has the entire theory explanation, the program. This video's PDF will contain the entire program with the delay calculation. And whichever sub topics have circuit diagrams, the PDF contains all of it. Plus you get another separate PDF just for viva questions and another separate pdf for the new in thing because of this pandemic how exam patterns have changed most of the universities are conducting exams online with mcq pattern when when you're preparing for an exam which is based on mcq your preparation is very different there you're not interested in writing big theory answers but you're interested in understanding the concept very well mcq questions based on this would be what is the value of start bit what is the value of stop bit give the pattern for sim instruction they will give the pattern four options you have to choose the correct one and so on and so forth so you'll be getting mcq questions viva questions theory question theory topic pdf all the videos we have our app android app bharat achar education you can download the app watch the videos in those as well plus most importantly you have access to me my whatsapp number is given down below once you are my student Whenever you have a doubt, hit me up on WhatsApp as and when, how many ever I can as a human, I answer. I will, you won't find a student saying, but I didn't answer my question. I answer, it may not come immediately to you because I have a busy day myself. But as soon as I wind up my day, as many humanly possible doubts I can answer, I do answer. Yeah, sometimes students take advantage and say, sir, do this assignment for me. That is not possible. I, and that's not even right. If I do the assignment, I will grow. You will not grow. It's supposed to be done by you. Yes, you want the logic for it. I'll give you the logic. Anyway, come on my website. Watch this whole video along with the entire series of 8085. Wish you all the best. Do well.